I think I do, because if they have other werewolves that profit from nighttime, I really don't want that to happen. Ain't nothing but a night time, baby. The next turn we slam in for a lot of freaking damage. You know, there it is. Something that I would have cared about a lot if it would have happened. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Matches Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. I hope you're having a wonderful Monday. <laughs> I know it's Monday, I'm terrible. And uh, yeah, thanks to everybody that participated and came over to the Content Creator Charity Cup, all organized by Ultimate Guard. We did make it on the top one, but we were number one with the charity, so that is pretty freaking nice. So this amazing freaking community that we built around us, put together 1,500 bucks, and that is just super amazing. So from the bottom of my heart, all of you are freaking amazing. I really freaking appreciate it. Also, live stream will be back tomorrow, don't you worry about that. And then we will be live streaming until Saturday, and then Sunday and Monday will always be breaks. Just so you freaking know. Also, I hope you liked the Explorer video yesterday. Let me know about that down below in the comments. But enough with the yammering. Let's get into the super aggressive hammering. Oh my lord, it is so freaking hot in here, like a 5,000 degrees. And that is why we're playing something super hot today. This deck is freaking amazing. I played Dance it a little bit. I was super happy about it. And it performed just so good. Like none of the games are over four minutes, not a single game goes over four minutes. That is just the sheer power of this freaking deck. I mean, you can also flat out terribly, like draw all of the lands. And that is a little weird because we only have like seven, nine, 15, 19, 23 lands in here. The Kazul's Fury is actually a spell that we want to use because if our Emma Storm Predator gets big and strong, just slamming it down into their throat, seems about pretty nice. Throwing a freaking vampire dragon to your opponent's face, shabam! They totally freaking deserve it. So, Amistern Predator is super good in today's meta because there's so many graveyard shenanigans that we don't care about happening to us that we really want to get that down, and that is just super freaking good. So, Amistern Predator, very nice card in here. But what are the new cards? Well, we have three up Nixalai in here. Why? Because, like, uh, almost just as with the Amazon Predator Kazul's Fury, we have so many ways to put counters on things that maybe we can bring this of Nixalai in as a seven cost, uh, as a seven top, uh, seven loyalty right away and just destroy our opponent in one single scoop. That's just pretty freaking amazing. And even if we can't, just having the up Nixalai on the field is just very freaking tasty because it deals two damage, even four damage every single turn if the opponent doesn't want to discard anything. And the more damage we deal, the better. You know, just freaking better. So, also new card in here is a tenacious freaking underdog because we can sacrifice that to the Amazon Predator, just bring it back. Sacrifice to the up Nixalai, just bring it freaking back. Have a 3-3 double up Nixalai on the freaking field. And that is just terribly amazing. Just terribly freaking amazing. Also, we have some more plus one, plus one counter aggression synergy in here. We have the Kalein that gives us a freaking treasure token. Worst case, we can even sacrifice that treasure to the deadly dispute. That is just super nice. But it also means that we can have a freaking turn four, a uh, turn three, uh, Amistern Predator as a 4 4 coming down. We can have a Thundering Raiju as a 4 4 coming down. So even more tokens. And we can have a turn four freaking Gold Span Dragon on the freaking battlefield, which is just freaking amazing. And uh, yeah. Given those th uh, creatures plus one, plus one counters, super freaking good because the Thundering Raiju shoots one damage per freaking modified creatures you control to your opponent or, uh, yeah, to each opponent. Each opponent. I, 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 th I was looking for some more words, but it was just each opponent. We have, of course, one of the best creatures in the three slot for mono freaking red. And every red coloration, you know, every red color. But the creature itself is mono red. Leave Maloney alone. We have the Reckless freaking Stormseeker. You play this on turn three. If you don't have the Kalein, you know, turn three, turn four, you have a hasty Amazon Predator. What else do you want? And if it turns nighttime, it even gives Trample, which is super good for the Thundering Raiju. Amazon Predator also super good. 
And you know, just being able to exile stuff from their graveyard in instant freaking speed, that is just freaking amazing. You just sacrifice something you don't care about, like the eye twitch, giving you access to all of these beautiful spells that we have here, the environmental science, necrotic fumes, expand anatomy, just even more counters, and uh, the introduction to annihilation, mask exhibition, and why not a confront a pass to bring back our Obnixilite. That can be very freaking delicious and yeah once your creatures are bigger and stronger than your opponent's creatures because of all of the plus one counters all of the plus one counters here you just meet a masker you know just say goodbye to the whole freaking board of, on their end and just slam in with your things and that is just super freaking tasty why is the valky in here well the valky is super good in the early game to get rid of something of uh, that your opponent really wants to play in the early game maybe you can even steal like i don't know luminarch aspirant Maybe you can steal like the Valkyrie, the Righteous Valkyrie, just super freaking tasty, get that out of their hand on turn 2. If they cannot destroy the Valkyrie, it is yours now. Yours for keeps, and that is very freaking amazing. So yeah, and in the late game, you have a freaking Tibble to Cosmic Imposter with his little, little stabbity knife in his left hand, and his right hand, it's a right hand. And that is just, as I said, super freaking good. And then later on, once your Amazon Predator gets bigger and stronger every freaking single turn, a 1-1 one, one counter is put on here. You just slam in with the Kazool's freaking fury. Look at this sucker. If you don't know Kazool, he's one of my favorite creatures ever. When an opponent attacks you, the Kazool of the, the Titan of Cliffs or what I forgot the, the English name. But the thing is, whenever you get attacked, you make yourself a 3-3 three, three ogre if your opponent doesn't pay 3 mana. And that is just freaking amazing. So Kazool... I love you. I love you very dearly. And you know, the gold span dragon just has a top end in here. Just all you need. It is all you freaking need. So yeah, Infernal Grass and Deadly Dispute are our only instances in here. The deck is just super good. It is super fast. It is super freaking regressive. Ugh, I almost choked here. So we have the four on the bridge, the four blind step pathway. We have six freaking beautiful mountains with five beautiful swamps. Then the two Dan of the Bugbear and the two of the Eye Turned, just in case we don't draw our creatures or a board gets wiped and we still need to get in for that last bit of damage. If you can, play this as, a, you know, the casualty option. Just sacrifice your, I don't know, Tenacious Underdog. Sacrifice your Kalein. It doesn't really matter. But the more damage you can deal, the faster, the freaking better. If your hand is a little slow, maybe Mulligan, you know? If you don't have, like, ways to, like, deal your damage to your opponent well you're gonna have a tough freaking time and with this deck it is very much possible to even get from 99 percent to i don't know top 800 in less than freaking half an hour my friends half a freaking hour why am i saying this just no reason no reason so thank you all so very freaking much i hope you're having a wonderful day i hope you will enjoy make sure to leave a like on the video make sure to subscribe if you have not so already we're on our way to 12,500, and we're going freaking strong. And as soon as we had that, well, we're on the way to 13,000. Sonio, we are coming for you. I am Max Malone, and I will see you in these regressive games. I just started recording, and it's already so hot in here. Oh, my Lord. Am I getting my shirt off? No, I'm not. I'm not getting my shirt off. That strike up. We're uh, almost back into the good numbers. And the opponent's going first. I mean, hey, this is a nice hand, though. And we will see what we're up against. I bet it is mono white. I don't know why. I just have a feeling. I have a feeling that this is just mono white. And we will find out. I mean, the middle mask here is pretty good then. The Amazon Predator is also very nice. I will keep this. I mean, we don't have Nightwitch in our starting. I told you. I don't know why I knew. It was just a feeling, you know? It was just a darn freaking feeling that this is exactly mono freaking white. Okay. Oh, it's humans. It's humans. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm still all right, you know. We, we're still good. I would just steal something out of their hand with my Valky. And, uh, you know, a portable hole. No need to bring your mom into this. <laughs> will I say it every time I have the chance to? I absolutely will. I absolutely freaking lutely will. Let's pretend like we're mono black for now. Like no reason not to, you know? Oh my, okay, well that's just amazing, isn't it? No it ain't. Spoiler, it ain't. The freaking mall of the Skyclaves, get out of here, man. Get out of here. 
Okay. Well, the thing is that I can use my Amazon Predator to block here, so I'm okay with that. Later. I mean, now I can't, but later I will be able to. And I'm also getting life back here, so hey. Hey ho. It's all good, you know? It is all freaking good. Uh, yeah. Do this. Do that. Just slam in there. Become this little human here. And, uh, now you're attacking in for three. But I'm getting the good stuff, you know? I am getting the good stuff. And, uh, we will see what they're doing here. I think that they will, like, you know, play down the other hopeful initiate. And, uh, attack in later. But we will just play the thundering Raiju. Make our intrepid adversary bigger and bigger and bigger every single turn. Dealing down the deeps. I think we're in a good situation here. Freaking Hall of the Oracles. What the heck? What is this for? Why do you have the Hall of the, of the Oracles? If only I could turn into this, that would be nice. All right. Why? Why? Well, I don't mind too much. They don't have anything here. We're just slamming in there. Okay. I don't know why they kept the freaking mana open here. Do they have a destroy target attacking creature thing? They do. Oh, yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, makes sense. <laughs> Absolutely makes sense, man. Absolutely makes sense. Okay. So, they will be playing both here, maybe. But we're still kind of fine, you know? We're still kind of freaking fine. Alrighty. All freaking righty. Especially like this, we're super fine. We are super fine. Okay. I will be putting it on the Thundering Raiju just so I can evade this. And now I do have the Infernal Grasp. So, hey, oh, you know, all good. I like it. I really do. And later on, we do have the Meat Hook. So, hey, what you even want from me? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. Alrighty. What you doing here? Hopeful Initiate has been initiated. And the Stonebinder's freaking familiar. Okay. Alrighty. What else do? Pass to tax? Only like this. Let me see here. You can have that. You can freaking have that. I will just, uh... Okay, well that is the last thing that you're doing today, my friend. That is just like the last thing that you're doing here, my friend. Okay, I feel like we got this. I have a good feeling about this, you know. I will be doing this main phase, even though uh, it doesn't, like, help me out with my attacks here. But I'm still, like, you know, positive that this won't be a mistake. Yeah! Get out of here, Moto White! In the first game, I'm recording every single time! Get out of here! Mm. Oh, Mono White, why do you do this? We're up against Ciel, which means heaven in French. I know French, ladies. I know French. All right, this hand is so good if we ever draw a black source, but if we don't, we're just sad about it, so let's not. This is almost the same hand, but a little bit better, you know? We're keeping it. And we are getting rid of the Valky here. Because, yeah, I can just go, you know, Tenacious into uh, Reckless into Obnixili, so that is pretty darn tasty. Alright, are you really? Are you really? Well, they're mulliganing down to five. That is, mmm, it's another Mono White deck. Come on now, really. Really now, another Mono White deck. Ain't nothing but a Mono White. Alright, that is a lot of land. I'll, I'll take it, though. I'll freaking take it for now. For now. Now we'll see what they're doing here. We just have to see what the freaking doing here. Like, uh, once more, we're being the ragrassers here. Are you angels? They're, they're angels or something like that. Okay, well, that is just amazing. They don't have anything. I love it. I freaking love it. Okay. <laughs> just, <laughs> I mean, hey, hey, maybe I cannot become top four in the freaking content creator charity cup. But I most certainly can beat somebody that mulligans down to five and uh, just aggressor them down. It's what I can do. Get out of here, heaven. Get out of here. Slamming my way back into the tub is what I'm doing. Slamming my way back into the tub is what 
what I'm doing. I mean, we started 1,200, now we're 80, 80. You know, that is pretty darn good. I thought I was going first once more, but I really like our hand here. We have two up Nixalai. Like, seriously, it's runes. It's runes, by the way. We have three up Nixalai. So, yeah. What, what do you even want from me? And it's runes, by the way. Just so you know, it is runes. It is runes. Yeah, you cannot fool me. So please give me like some removal here, game. That would be great. That would be really, really great. But right now, this ain't looking too good, is it now? No, it ain't. No, it ain't. The Weaver of Harmony. It's getting more terrible and more terrible at the second it crashes here. Get out of here, man. Get come on. Really? <laughs> Really now? Okay, well, ain't that something? That is, <laughs> and we're drawing one land after another. Ain't that something? Ain't that freaking something? Okay, well, we we just dead next turn. I mean, that is just what it is. You know, we're just freaking dead next turn. <laughs> Come on now. I have. Uh, okay, that is just you know very questionable to say the very least. Yeah, just very very questionable to say the very. Least. What a start, man. Come on, where is my freaking kill spells? Give me my kill spells. Just give me my freaking kill spells. I think they will be attacking the Upnixali. But honestly, that is what I think they will be doing, but we will have to find out. We'll just have to freaking find out. I mean, they will also maybe just go face here. Oh, yeah, okay, nice. <laughs> Oh, terrible. What? You have lethal, dude. You have lethal. What are you doing? You just attack in with lethal, man. Oh, come on now, really. Really, please give me something here. Please just give me freaking something here. Oh, I would love you to give me something. Just whatever it is. Not a land, though. Not a land, though. Well, that is something, you know. That is something. So how can we use this to our advantage? Can we use it to our advantage? Can we? I don't think we can. I just don't think we can. Nah, no, we're super dead here. Like, seriously, super dead. Like, yeah, that was just a perfect start. <laughs> oh, my lord, game. Hey, those are sure some fast freaking games, but I'm not taking this aggression here. Holy, mm, oh, sweet lord. Oh, sweet lord. Oh, 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 my. Oh, my. Get out of here, runes. What a start. Turn two kill. Get out of here. Get out of here. What in the freaking darnation was that? 101 darnations is what it was. Pretty bad call here. I, I don't mind. You, 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 you leave Maloney alone. It's very nice. It's a very nice. This was just, what the heck, man? If at least, like, we had, like, one of our good things, like a kill spell or something. But no, no. Are we, we're not going first ever, are we? We're just not going first ever. I have to double check here. I just have to double check, you know? My stats, my opponents. One, two, three. Yeah, that is the fourth game in a row where we're not going first. That is terrible game. That is very terrible. I have to say. I'm not impressed. Not in the slightest. Okay, so what are we up against? Let's just check here. Like, there's no reason not to. If they counter this ace, so be it. I don't think they will. Because they don't have something in their hand. They just don't have a creature. Is what they don't. We still gotta look at their hand. So that is pretty much alright. Pretty much alright. Alright. Yeah, that's terrible to say the least. That is just terrible to say the freaking least. Alright. I'm still... Am I? Still go with the Obnixili here. Just to, you know, put down some pressure is what I do. Just put down some pressure. Alrighty. I mean, hey, this goes to four. They don't have a gold spend dragon in hand. That is all I freaking care about. This is a three, right? Yeah, this is a three. And they will have to spend all of the freaking resources for that. None of them. And that I like very much. Because now they will shoot their freaking dragon fire onto my Obnixili. Yes, exactly what I wanted you to do. You fell right into my trap. Okay, and we're going with the uh, Mr. Predator here. Don't you tell me they threw freaking Javari Disruption, they did not. Okay, very good, very good. They did not find it. 
Because this now is pretty darn useless, isn't it? Yes, yes, it is. It is pretty darn useless. Okay, we are uh, we are attacking in here, and there's no freaking reason not to. And uh, get rid of stuff that we don't like, like this prismatic command needs to go. All right. Good, good, good. And now we just play another freaking Amazon Predator. And then next turn, we just attack in for a freaking a lot. Did you find your counter spell now? Is this now a counter spell? Are you a Tavara soaring skying my uh, Amazon Predator here? You don't? Okay, I like it. I really do. So, how do we do this? Next turn, we have five mana available. Five freaking mana available. We're slamming in for seven, nine. Okay, that is pretty darn good. That is pretty darn good. Also, we're doing this now. Because there's literally no reason not to. Uh, making our one of our Amazon Predators even freaking bigger. Or are we? Now we're just attacking with everything. We're just freaking attacking in with everything. Okay, let me see here. If I slam this down, it doesn't change anything. Nah, they bought themselves a turn. But that is all they did. They bought themselves a turn. Alrighty. Oh, freaking righty. We're still slamming in the first seven. So that is still pretty darn good. And they're getting rid of the dragon's fire. Because that, you know, kills this. And they have nothing now to kill this. So, hey, pretty cool in my eyes. Alrighty. And uh, now we're ending the turn. If they don't do anything in the turn tonight, our Amazon Predator will get freaking haste. Delicious. And they scoop. What are these games? Not a single one of these games goes over five minutes. Exactly 900. It is over. 900. Mmm. It is hot. I have a lemony beverage here. I have my sunglasses. It's almost like it's summer. But like my windows are closed behind me because of the street. There is no fresh air. We're up against Mido 100. Being the top 500. We're going... Oh my lord, we're going first. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. What is this? What in the darnation is this? We all oh, sweet baby Jesus. We're going first. And it's Mono White once more. Okay, well, that's just a doozy. It is just a doozy. But uh, we're still playing the uh, Amazon Predator here next turn. Oh, it's humans. It is humans. Alrighty. Be humans. Be freaking humans. We're bringing down the Amazon Predator here. Or are we? Yeah, we are. We are. Okay. Uh, we will see if they are able to get rid of it right away. We are also attacking it. Like, there's literally no reason not to. We're just being super aggressive here. Like, next turn we can go uh, Kalein into freaking Reckless Stormseeker if we have to. And that is pretty darn tasty. Now watch him have the Skyclave. Oh, that is a tasty burrito here, my friends. That is a freaking tasty burrito here. But uh, hey, nothing I can do about that, is there now? Not a range, another land. Not exactly what I want to see here. Not exactly what I want to see here. We're keeping this one. But I want to see this. Yes, I do. Oh, yes, I do. And uh, now we're just slamming in there. Like, there's no reason not to. And if they attack in, like, we can block this intrepid adversary if we have to. I just hope we don't. I just hope we don't. I just hope they don't attack in. I just hope they don't have the perfect freaking play here with the uh, Halana and Alina right away. That would be terrible. Terrible, I tell you. The Kalein resplendent. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Pretty darn interesting. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, you do you. You do you. I'm not forcing you to play the game the way I want it to be played. Alrighty. Two tenacious underdogs. Well, we can bring one down here like this. Any other one down like this. And uh, we're keeping back our blocker, but we are attacking in like this. Good. Now, still watch him have the freaking Adeline. Uh, the Adeline, the uh, Halana and Alina. I would not be surprised at all. Not in this. Get out of town, man. Get freaking out of town, man. Oh, wow. Okay, that was an interesting choice of, like, you know, things to do. That was a pretty darn interesting choice of things to do. All right. They're being super aggressive here. I mean, we still have removal. Also sound buggy. 
I mean, you know, we also have like <sighs> nothing here. Okay, that is <laughs> that is terrible, man. <laughs> terrible, man. Come on, five lands in twelve. They have four in thirteen. Get out of here, man. Get okay. They have five in thirteen. That is okay. That is all right. But still, you know. Okay. It is night time, though. Yeah, okay. But if they're attacking in here, I will totally block that, you know? They don't, okay. Well, that is just, you know, give me a Meatok here or I will be Sag. Well, no Meatok has been achieved. No freaking Meatok has been freaking achieved. You know, hey, they had three. They had three, you know? We had nothing. We had nothing. Nothing, I tell you. This is how you become top 600, my friends. Just two Skyclaves into the Brutal Qatar. Hey, hey, our games are still not longer than four freaking minutes. What the living heck is going on? Get out of here, humans. Get out of here. So we finally go first. A match after six games in a row going second. And then something like terrible like this happens. We are going first. I will keep this. All we need is a red sword sooner or later. And we're super happy. Hippie like a clown. All right. What is this? What the living heck is? Is this mill? I bet it is mill. I'm so certain it is. Oh, it's not mill. Okay. It is not mill. Uh, but we will be looking what they have here. Like, let's have a look at their hand. If they're playing green, they most certainly do have something that I really won't like to steal here. Okay. All right. That is... Okay. <laughs> that is indeed something that I would like to steal here. All right, maybe we even find a land, who knows? Would be cool, would be cool. Uh, but yeah, like, all right, they can just shoot it down very soon, and then we will steal it back. Well, we haven't found a land here, that is terrible. Terrible, I tell you! Terrible! All right, but uh, let's see how they invest their resources here. Like, you know, they have the two Riveteer charms here. That is already pretty darn good. Are they playing a creature? They're not. Okay. All right. So we found a freaking land here even. That is just amazing. We are still going with the Reckless Storm Seeker. Because they will have to make a choice here which one they want to steal, you know? And if we draw one more land, which, uh, like, statistically speaking, will totally freaking happen, we're kind of good, you know? We're kind of freaking good. All right. They're deciding to shoot the Reckless Storm. No. You're doing it like this. Okay. That is fine by me. That is still fine by me. They have, like, filtered a lot of land. So maybe they don't find a land here. Maybe they don't. Maybe they do. Who knows? Who knows? The Jaspara Sentinel. That is kind of a land. But only kinda. Only freaking kind of a land. And we did find a land as well. Amazing. Freaking amazing. All right. All freaking right. So we are just slamming in here, because, uh, yeah. What are, what are they supposed to do here, you know? Shooting, okay. That is absolutely fine by me. Absolutely fine by me. Because I still have my freaking, uh, you know, guild span dragon in hand. And I will freaking use it here. And I will now uh, play the Valky as well. Or do I? I mean, they sacrifice our gold span dragon here, so that ain't gonna be peachy at all. And we just steal uh, one of the Goldspin Ranks back. All right. You know what? We're stealing the freaking Moonvale Regent. Yes. Yes. That is what we're doing. Because this is just good. This is just freaking good. All right. So we can turn into that. Yeah, that is all right. We have to sacrifice the Goldspan Dragon here. But we can turn into that Moonvale Regent. And that is just uh, very much what we want here. Very much what we want here. Because then we can start doing stuff, you know? And doing stuff is absolutely cool. Alright. So, hey, we're still not super safe here. It's not like we're freaking super safe. But we're very close to being super safe. They will be playing this, uh, this thing down there now, which is alright. We do have the two Infernal Grasps, so that is alright as well. Okay. What do you have for one green here? Another Jaspara. Alrighty, alrighty. But we do have another gold span dragon. That is very freaking sweet. A uh, decline. All attack. Getting rid of the ch and they scoop. Mmm. Oh, river.
riveteering who now? I'm riveteering you apart. I am a riveteering you a new one. I am cry me a riveteer. Top 900 once more, my friends, with the pure regression. The cream of the crop. What is with these freaking games, man? They're so freaking fast. Remind me of me. <laughs> We're going first. I mean, we do have something for the early game, you know, we do have the removal, we do have the Medoc Massacre, and uh, yeah, normally we're up against creature-based decks nowadays. The Mulliganing twice? Mulliganing thrice? Are you are you putting down even more? They're not, okay. We're slamming down the Kazoot's Fury here. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't. Next turn, we'll be, and we're up against a creature-based deck, just as I said. Alrighty, so they will not like my Infernal Graspio here. They will not. The Outland Liberator. Do I care yet? Do I care yet? I don't care at all. I will see if I care here. All right. So I will be going with the uh, Nixalai here. Because if they attack in, I can just, you know, slam the devil right into their face. And that just like, you know, we don't even care about that. We just don't. We just don't. Oh, the werewolves. You <laughs> werewolves. <laughs> Interesting. The Frostbite, okay, well that is also very interesting. So they really want to get rid of this Obnixili here, which I totally understand. I would do the same, but it's just a little too late, my friend, just a little too late. What else do you have here? The Werewolf Pack Leader, okay, that is something that I really don't like too much. Uh, let's get rid of it while we can. Because the thing is, if they do have a fight spell, this uh, freaking Amistern Predator is not looking too tasty, you know? Just ain't looking too tasty. Alrighty. So now we're bringing down the Eye Twitch, and we're bringing down the Amistern Predator. And now if they want to fight it, we can still make it, you know, in the What is with the sound? Arena, your sound is bad and you should feel bad. Also, I think I will end of turn just sacrifice the eye. Now they could still have a frostbite, you know, that is nothing that I would like to see here. Absolutely nothing that I would like to see. But they would have to have like a frostbite into freaking like, you know, perfection. Which I don't think they have. Ah, yeah, that is what I thought. That is what I thought. All right, all right. The tenacious underdog. I will be going with the gold spend dragon here, though. There's literally no reason not to. And then I can still play it if I want to. And I think I want to, just to make it turn freaking, uh, you know, daytime once more. But do I even care about the daytime? Do I even care about it? Hmm. I think I do. I think I do. Because if they have other werewolves that profit from nighttime, I really don't want that to happen. Ain't nothing but a night time, baby. The next turn we slam in for a lot of freaking damage. You know, there it is. Something that I would have cared about a lot if it would have happened. You know, just would have cared about a lot if it would have happened. Alrighty. Are you just slamming in here? Are you now? Are you just now slamming in here? There is a chance you are. But I wouldn't if I were you. Because I mean you're dead anyways. They just lethal on board. Hey! Another three minute game. It's just bananas. Just freaking bananas. How am I supposed to fill a freaking 45 minute video with this? Well, I will have to talk a lot in the beginning. And if I have, I'm not even sorry. I am, I am not even sorry at all. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not sorry. We're up against Cool Yazi. Okay, cool name, my friend. Cool Yazi name. Opponent's going first. Only fair. Only fair. Like, we have been going first for two games in a row. That is more than enough. We don't have the deadly dispute here. The hand is alright, you know. It's nothing special. It is not super aggressive. But it is more on the control -y side. And if we're once more up against, like, creature-based decks, you know. Which most certainly are. Like, every single day is just creature-based decks here. Creature-based decks there. It's mono-black. Oh, it is a pretty aggressive deck, though. It is a pretty aggressive deck, though. But once more, we, we're kind of fine still. We're kind of fine. I would just play the Valkyrie. Oh my, okay, interesting. Rectus on Rectus freaking violence? All right, all right. 
All right, all right, all right. So let us see what you're doing here. What is your plan here? Oh, it's pretty much our same plan as ours. Okay, that is interesting. <laughs> that is pretty interesting. We will turn into that freaking thing as soon as we can. Yes, 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 yes. We will. We freaking will. Okay. Pass attacks. Yeah, you can have it. You can freaking have it. My turn. I feel like we're doing fine here, you know? I feel like we're okay. We'll keep this up now, see what they have. If they do have an answer here, hey, so be it. But uh, together with the Valkyrie, we will be very happy. Very happy like a clown Charlie freaking Brown. They're only attacking in like this. Makes sense. Makes totally freaking sense. Okay. What else, though? What are you doing, my friend? What is your grand freaking scheme here? What is your grand freaking scheme? Are you going with the meat hook? That helps me out, actually. So, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I like it. I really do. So they think that they're super smart here doing this, but you know, the Graveyard Trespasser is just very happy about what you just did. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very freaking much. I like it. So now I will be a little bit greedy here, but I think it is worth it. Because this tenacious underdog actually needs to go. And uh, yeah, we're gaining some life back also, so that is very good. Very freaking good. Alrighty. And next turn we can play the Thundering Raiju, we can start playing our Gold Span Dragon if we, if we want to even. So that is also very nice. And uh, we will just see what they're doing here. The Valky, that is super bad, super bad, super bad. I can't put in words how bad that is. Oh my sweet lord, that is just bad. What? Do you have a land in hand? Do you now? I think they do have a land in hand. All right, where is our Meat Hook Massacre now? Well, that's just amazing, to be honest. That is just pretty darn amazing, to be freaking honest. Okay. We'll be doing this now. Now we're freaking chilling here. Like they're getting some life back, even if they destroy my Obnixilis here. I don't really mind too much. Slamming in like this. Is that all you're doing? If that is all they're doing, I'm fine with it, you know? <laughs> I'm actually freaking fine with it. <laughs> That is just fine. I will just steal my Valky, uh, the Valky here. Okay. Get the gold span dragon down. Start doing stuff, you know. It's going to be great. It's going to be freaking great. We're gaining life back even, so hey. So hey. And if they're not doing anything here, we, we're just fine, you know. We're just freaking fine. Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here, man. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Really now? Really? Oh, my sweet lord. Oh, my sweet lord. Oh, come on, man. How perfectly can it go? How freaking perfectly can it go, man? Ah, uh, that is just a rune game all over again. Uh, get out of town, man. Get freaking out of town, man. Get out of town. Holy freaking smokes, the exacts is here, the freaking exacts is here. We're going first though, I like that a lot, I really have to say that I like it very much, very very much. We will have a Namastorm Predator, we will have a Stundering Raiju very soon and that is very good. So, we will be going back top 900 here. We are going top 900 here. Nothing more, nothing less is to be freaking achieved. Alright, the Meat Hook freaking Massacre. That is fine by me. I, I will use it later. And uh, I'm thinking about maybe using my... Okay, well, that is super annoying. That is, like, super annoying. But uh, nothing I can do about that, is there, now? 
I really, really want that, you know? And we're taking... Well, the environmental sciences, just in case. Just in freaking case. You never know. You just never know. Alrighty. So we're going with the Amazon Predator here. And we will see if they do have a freaking answer right away. Or if they just don't. I think they have the Destroy Target Monocolored Permanent. That is what they have. Not Destroy, but Exile, you know. Yeah, one bajillion percent is what they do have it here. Okay. Let's be the freaking aggressors. Let's just be the freaking aggressors. Putting a counter here. Putting a counter on the Amistern Predator as well. And now if they want to uh, get rid of my freaking uh, Thundering Raiju here, hey, go ahead, be my guest. See my real gorilla chest. Okay, Valkyries in the end. Crazy. We don't have the meat hook though, so that might be nice, you know. Do we even do it here? I think we do. I think we do. Like, there's literally no reason not to, you know. It gets indestructible, I mean, that's pretty tight. That is pretty good. That is pretty crazy, to say the least. And we are playing the uh, gold span dragon here next turn, attacking in for a lot of freaking deeps. Are you are you keeping that back? Do you have another one? That is my only question, though. Do you really have another one? That is the only freaking question that I have here. The only freaking question that I have here, my friend, is: Do you have another freaking one? Do you really now? I think they do. I think they do. Yep. Never not have it. Never freaking not have it. The double. You know, just the double. But the thing is, that is still pretty good. Because now we are at four mana for a freaking Meadog Masker. They have to start blocking here as well. They don't. Okay. That is fine by me. What is your freaking plan though? Oh, another Righteous Valkyrie. Well, that is a pretty darn good plan. But is it good enough? I don't know. I still have the freaking Meadog Masker, so yeah. Good tough luck, Buttercup. Tough freaking luck, freaking Buttercup. And uh, here you go. That is because you took my gold span from me. There is, uh, that is the whole freaking reason for it. Okay. And a scoop. And a scoop. That is just what it is. And they scoop. Top freaking 900. 18, 18. That is the top. That is the crop of the cream. I'm just so hot. It's so hot in here. I can't even think straight. Get out of here, angels. Get out of here. It was foretold. The second coming of two minute Malone. Don't tell my girlfriend. So, yeah. Holy freaking smokes. This deck slams down like the ham of Perforos. I told you. I freaking told you. So thank you very much for sticking with me through the end. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. Bringing the pain onto our opponents felt really freaking good. Like, you know, having the aggressiveness of red with the removal of black is just exactly what I like to do. We got back into the numbers very highly even. I like it very much. Uh, I don't know. We still have 15 days left. So maybe we can even stay up there. Also, I want to thank all of these people on this beautiful freaking list. If you're old, if you're new... Thank you very freaking much if you're a patron. I even secretly, well, I told you a lot of time, I secretly used all of the patronage money from the last two months to put into the freaking fundraiser for the Cancer Foundation. And that was very amazing. So just by being a fan of mine, you did something good to this world. So thank you very freaking much. I really appreciate it. And uh, yeah, even in those times where I'm not putting it to good, you're still doing good because you're keeping the lights on. Here at MTG Malone's, yes, there is lightning. There is lighting in here. So thank you very freaking much. I really appreciate it. It means the world to me. I couldn't do this amazing thing without all of your help. And uh, yeah, if you want to check out the patronage or the membership, there's a button below every single video. There's a link to the patronage. Shameless plug at the end. And make sure to like the video, share it with a friend, and become part of the Malone community by joining the Discord. There's a lot of amazing people. There's a lot of amazing food and art. We're talking magic. We're talking everything. And if I can, I also will answer it to all of you as soon as I freaking can. So thank you also very freaking much. I had a lot of fun. I'm Max Malone and I will see you all tomorrow.